Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is July 19th of 2017. This is a review of this uh, Dazen camera cage kit for digital single lens reflex cameras such as, and they list them. Um, this is the, let me take it off of here. Now you notice I don't I didn't put the rails on here. Uh, they list all the cameras, and this, by the way, is not a digital single lens reflex. Uh, my big camera, my real camera, is also not. Uh, and the, I see they have the G7 listed. Anyway, they list the cameras. Oh, my, you'll notice I don't have the rails on here. So this is a compact Canon. It's the uh, LX7. It's really too small, although I'm using it. It's really too small for uh, this cage is made for larger cameras. But you, I can, you know, I can use it. Uh, this camera doesn't have a uh, swing out lens or swing out viewer so that does that makes it kind of uh, what to use but it does sit on here and I can get into where the battery is and the SD card without having to unscrew it which is good uh, so this this camera is a, a bridge uh, it's just FZ200 and uh, it's called a bridge camera, a little bit bigger and it will of course go on here but it covers up the uh, place where you get into the battery and the SD card which is a little inconvenient, you know, inconvenient. But I purchased it, uh, I purchased the cage. Uh, I'm going to be using it but uh, I'm going to get a uh, Panasonic G7. And so I thought, well, I'd go ahead and get this. I, this is all aluminum, built really well. When you get it, the handle's not fixed to it. You, you know, you put it on, it comes with uh, a couple of Allen, Allen wrenches. And you could put this on the other way if you want it. You know, you can, you have, uh, you have this box to work with. And you can purchase other items to go on there. Um, I'll probably be getting, I'm probably going to try, there's a small box that uh, does audio. And that would be good because, let's face it, uh, the, these cameras all, just about all fall down, I think they all do, in the area of uh, audio. And so I'll probably get one of those and put it on here. But anyway, I purchased this. There was a guy on YouTube who did a whole, he did a video and he listed five or six different cages. And he had all of them there to show and talked about the advantages and disadvantages of them. And I don't remember if this one was on his list or not, but anyway, I ended up purchasing this one because of the price and because it looked like it was, and it is, really well built. And that it had everything that I was going to need or else I could add some stuff to it. But uh, I knew these cameras really would be uh, not really the right cameras for it. But I'm planning on getting a G7 uh, when I can afford it. So I'm not sure if it's going to be three months from now or six months from now. But I'll get a G7, so I'll have this. I'll have this cage. In the meantime, I'll be using it. Uh, but uh, let's take a, uh, a little look at this thing. You have the handle, the rails, which I don't. I didn't install. Here's a look with a, uh, a look at you know a large camera that's installed on there. 
another view of that. See, so if you wanted to purchase, you know, you can purchase these extra if you want to. Handles. I've got one for, this is not by this company here, but uh, for a camera. So, thing is though, with, you know, with a compact digital camera, really I think you, you want the, you want it small and be able to stick in your pocket. That's the reason to have it. Now when you move up to this camera like this, it's not real large, but you're not going to be sticking that in, you know, not going to be sticking that in your pocket. So that changes your way you're going to be doing things and, the, and what you're going to be needing. Um, here's everything that you get the cage, the rails, the handle, uh, the screws, and the hex wrenches. Is that what they're called? I just I said it a while ago and I can't remember. Um, compact cage designed for uh, to be compatible with Nikon, Pentax, Canon, 5D Mark II, and other digital single lens reflex cameras. Like I said, these are not single lens reflex uh, cameras, but that doesn't matter. You know, that doesn't matter. Um, you can read what it says. Um, here's a good photograph of the, uh, some more good photographs of it. More that you can read. I don't have to read it to you. And I think that's it. So I do recommend it. I may update this review when, uh, when I get my uh, G7 camera, and uh, I'll let you know how it works. Maybe maybe I could do it well. I don't think that Amazon allows me to do a second review, so I'd have to update. Perhaps what I'll do is just put in the text, but uh, maybe when I get my G7, I'll up update it in case somebody has a G7 and they want to see exactly how it fits and exactly how it looks. So I do recommend this. Uh, I, uh, I think though, look and see what camera you have or, you know, check out the measurements, you know, for this. If, you know, if you have a, a compact camera, uh, this is probably not for you. You can get a smaller cage and stuff like that. Um, so I would, if you have one of those cameras that's listed, the Canon and the Nikon models that are, the Sony models that are listed, uh, then, you know, this, this is the way to, uh, this is the way to go and I recommend it. But uh, check and see what camera you have and check out the size and things like that. But it's made of good, you know, I think that's a good price for it, and it's uh, made very well. This on the bottom, of course, is off the uh, tripod. That doesn't come, you know, you can mount it, mount it on a tripod, of course, but this, let me take this off so you're not confused here. There you go. So you just mount it to your tripod. I do recommend it. Thank you very much for watching.